Yeah, in this session, we are going to talk about unit root testing. Our target is to test unit root for stationarity for the variable GDP. How? The variable is GDP and the data is time series from 1980 to 2013, meaning that 34 observation. So GDP is the only variable. Now I'll go to eViews. I open the data which is already I installed it in eViews. Open GDP as a variable. And from this variable you can see the observation here. So now we are we shall be checking whether GDP is a, a variable as unit root or not. That we shall check. So now we can use the augmented decay filler to check the stationarity. In case of decay filler test, there may create a problem of autocorrelation. To tackle the autocorrelation problem, decay filler has developed a test called augmented decay filler test, which is ADF, stated below. Equation 1, 2, and 3. As you can see it here. This is the three equation. The first equation, intercept only. This is the intercept. And the second equation, trend and intercept. This is intercept. And this is the trend. And the third equation, no trend, no intercept. And there is no trend, no trend, no intercept in the third equation. To make the variable stationary, we should go to the first difference. Here we have one method. This method called augmented decapillar test, ADF test. This test can tell us whether a particular variable got unit root or not. So the augmented decapillar has three steps, as you can see it here. This is the three steps, which is the, the three equation you have it here. This is three steps. Now, then we'll go to the hypothesis before we practice that. This is the hypothesis, null hypothesis. Variable is not a stationary or got unit root. So here we have to reject null and accept alternative to be stationary. Null hypothesis equal B1, W, A, equal zero which is here a w and b1 equal zero or a w b1 which uh, this is null hypothesis or a w a alternative equal not equal a not equal w not equal B. So in this case, alternative is variable stationary, this one here. So if we reject these coefficient equal zero, but not equal zero, it means the variable is stationary. So when the p-value is less than 5%, then we reject nil, meaning that the particular variable is stationary but if p value greater than five percent then we accept null meaning that we cannot reject null the variable is not stationary now we shall be checking the three method one by one using augmented decay filler then we will go to eviews and then from eviews here as you can see it this is the variable one variable only in the model and we'll go to quick Serial series statistic unit root and type GDP. So when you type GDP, then we can check it and then press OK. Here we have three type of unit root level at level, at first difference, second difference. Usually we use level and first difference. And here the include in the test equation intercept trend and intercept and none 
as we can see it in this equation here we mentioned before this is with intercept with intercept and trend no intercept no trend so we have to check again we will see all these three options must agree about particular variable whether the, this variable has a unit root or not then we check for level first what does it mean level level means uh, the data original or in the initial then I press I look here I select level in the initial data and the aut automatic selection SIF you can select any one of these criteria but in our case we select SIC or AIC depend on you and then maximum lag we leave it as it is as a default and here we have to select with level the intercept then we level trend and intercept and then we level with none the same we use it for first difference with the three equation now we'll take level at intercept and then argumented decay failure we press ok here you can look at the t statistic is less than the critical value at one percent five percent at ten percent or the p value greater than five percent which means that we cannot reject null hypothesis meaning that the variable gdp has a unit root we we'll go again to view unit root and then we select trend and intercept leave everything as it is press ok and here we can say the same thing the t statistic 0.07 which is less than all the critical value then t also pro, uh, p value is greater than five percent we cannot reject null hypothesis and the variable has a unit root the third part is we'll go to view unit root same thing which select none so press ok the same thing 99.0 which is greater than five percent we cannot reject null hypothesis rather uh, we, uh, we can uh, we cannot reject null hypothesis meaning that the gdp has a unit root this is at level then we have to check at first difference to correct this outcome we'll go to quick serious statistic unit root and then gdp or you can go to view the same as before click ok and this is we change it from level to first difference and here we select intercept leave everything as it is and the criteria is a d f augmented decay pillars press ok here you can see this is a three uh, significant at five percent or p value is less than five percent we can reject null hypothesis meaning that we the null hypothesis uh, meaning that the variable the first difference of gdp has not unit root which is stationary the second part go to view unit root and then we select trend press ok leave everything as it is here you can see this is greater 12.15 percent greater than five percent and meaning that we cannot we we reject we cannot reject null hypothesis meaning that the variable fares difference of gdp has a unit root and t statistic less than the critical value the third equation will go again to view unit root and put none leave everything as it is click here we can say 2.77 which is greater than the critical value at 1% level 5% level and 10% level or p value less than 5% so in this case we reject null hypothesis we reject null hypothesis and accept the alternative meaning that dgd root this is the three 
equation we used for testing the unit root and we find all these st uh, stationary at first difference after we convert all the, the data into first difference. In this case, we can see that if the variable is stationary at 1% or 5% or 10%, which is not, uh, we don't use 10% usually, 5 or 1%. If we value less than 5%, we accept, we reject nil and accept the alternative. It means the variable is stationary. If the variable is stationary, then we can go direct to test, Johansson test for contigration. And then we test the vector error correction model. But if p-value is less than, for all the variable, include the equation, is not, is not uh, stationary. So we cannot go for one, uh, vector error correction model, VIC, but we can go for one. Thank you 